Hello everyone, you're very welcome to this video. Just explaining a little bit about how the button factory works. So I like this tool a lot. It allows us to create simple buttons and banners in a really neat, easy way. So if we uh, scroll down a bit, um, the first thing we see is we've got text and we can put in whatever text we want. So let's say sample button. And as soon as we push return, that text is replaced in the button here, and this is the button we're going to get. We can change the font if we want. And we can change the size of the text. So I normally do 32. Now, in terms of the size of the button itself, we have two options. We can either make it fit just around the the size of the text, or we can give it a fixed size. So very often I'll make buttons that are 400 in width and 100 in height. Sometimes that looks good and sometimes that doesn't, but that's uh, one I would normally do. Um, and maybe I'll make the button slightly larger by increasing the size. Over here, what can we do? We can change the corners angle so we can see the curve here. We can make it more visible. And indeed, if we keep bringing it up, it will turn into an egg shape at the end in ellipse. The color at the moment is unicolored and it's green at the moment. We can change it to blue simply by selecting that color. We can also tell it to put in two colors. And we could do blue and red. We have to scroll down and go OK. And then our button now is blue and red. Divide it in half. Instead of simple two colors, we can change it to a gradient. So it gradually changes from blue into red. And we can see it there now. We can also add a bubble effect if we want, which creates little curves in it. And if we want, we can add a border around the edge of the button. So let's make a border of usually five is plenty. And as we can see, it adds a border around the button. And let's make it red. And now, once we're happy with the button we have, actually I might change that blue to something a little bit more red so it doesn't look so severe. Great. Okay. We, we want to download it. So we can select what type of file we want to save it as. We can do PNG, a GIF, a JPEG or an ICO. I normally save them as JPEGs. Then when I click download, what happens is it goes into the download folder on my computer. And the name of the button is always button underscore whatever the text is on the button. And it's a JPEG file, as we can see there. So that's a very simple overview of how to create buttons and banners using the Button Factory. Thanks very much.